ASC career paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a workers' comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. you give for a child you loved to make their wish come true to help them fight a critical illness just imagine what you'd do you see wishes are so powerful and you can make them real they can give a child back their childhood even change the way they feel every single one of us can make the stars align because when we come together hope and joy will shine Traditional checking accounts are old news. So what are you waiting for? Reach new heights with Apex Rewards checking from First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Apex gives you the option to choose between cash back or high interest with a free checking account that pays you. Plus, ATM fees get refunded. Choose your rewards at fhfcu.org and get one step closer to achieving your financial goals. So hello everybody, and welcome to today's baseball game between Hornell and Haverling on a very cold day here from the Bath VA. And I don't know why Haverling's not playing at home today, it must be some, uh, like every field around here is having trouble with the water and everything else, so... Should be a decent game. Wells or Wayland, I'm sorry, Wayland. Wellsville came in and defeated Haverling in their first game this week. Horn this is Hornell's first game. So it's. Uh, let me increase my. I'm not going to be perfect here. I'll do my best. <laughs> Apologize. Here, now I can hear myself better, and I'm going to be a little bit louder in here, so you can turn down your... I may have to switch a battery here already. So, batting for Hornell is number one, Gennaro Pico. Swings through the first one. On the mound for Haverling is number one, Gage Thomas.
shop. Sorry we dropped off you there. Not a good way to start out my broadcast season for baseball. Apologize, but Gennaro Pico goes down with the strikeout. That one's low in, in the dirt. I know I brought my glasses with me. I thought I did. So we're here. <clears throat> There's a strike. Top of the first zero zero. One out here. Hornell again top of the first. If you just join us, welcome everybody. And easy out. Covering that time, Evan Pendle for Haverling. Devin. Oyer up to the plate for Hornell. That one low. Again, if you just join us, Gage Thomas, the 10th grader on the mound for Haverling. Cold. <laughs> it feels like it's zero out, but I, I know it's supposed to be like 40. <clears throat> that one's high inside. They do not have the scoreboard on here, so I'm kind of doing it by myself here and try to do the best I can to give you. Actually, the temperature is 37 degrees. This one lifted. Easy play. Kind of fighting to win that time. That was number 12. Oop, is that number 12? I don't have a number 12. Or, I'm sorry, that's number 16. Alex Byler. So, good job, Alex. And Haverling. Puts Hornell down. One, two, three. <clears throat> I don't dare take my hands out of my pockets <laughs> uh, and try to write stats down. I have my all the stuff for it, but it's just... When you're inside a gym for the last f four or five months, it's uh, filming... A little bit difficult. Let's see who's on the mound for Hornell. For Hornell, that's number at twenty four, Charlie Oyer. Oyer the senior. See if we can tell who's playing the bases here since I wasn't given any kind of. Boyer at second base. Wyatt Evingham at short. P.J. Pico at 
or I'm sorry, Gennaro Pico at third. Number 22 for Haveline, Dylan Winbon. Dylan, a 10th grader. Swings and misses. First pitch for Charlie Oyer. A strike for Hornell. And strike two. Foul tip. Again, I want to thank everybody for joining us. I'll try to do the best I can here on this cold, windy day here from the Bath VA. That's outside, so one ball, two strikes. No outs here, bottom of the first. This is Dylan Winbon at bat. Charlie Oyer on the mound for Hornell. First game of the season for Hornell. Haverling is 0-1. They lost to Wellsville earlier this week. Comes back to Oyer. Oyer, easy flip. And we got one out. Batteries aren't lasting very long here. I don't know if it's the cold weather or what. Two outs. Oh, and two. Or I'm sorry, two outs, I'm sorry. This is number two, Owen Smith, the senior. I'm trying to move the tripod as well when something happens, it kind of moves kind of slow. And there's the first base hit of the game. And stays at first base. I'm not sure if the replay. Oh. So runner on first, at bat is number four, Evan Pendle. One out. Some stolen base. Steal by Gage Thomas. Sorry, this wind is ripping up my uh, roster here. Ooh, and Thomas is going to head down to third. So runner on third now with one out.
It's low. Now I'm going to lose you guys again. These battery systems, I don't know if it's the weather or what. It's, but I will bring you right back up here momentarily. Let me get my other battery ready. It's supposed to be a professional streaming company. <laughs> But I always take solace in the fact that I watch NFL games and stuff and whatever, and they lose the broadcast sometimes because of issues. So it's not just me. Even the pros. So runners on the corners now with only one out here, bottom of the first. Hornell, Charlie Oyer finds himself in a little bit of trouble here. This is left left fielder number 12 or I'm sorry that isn't left fielder who is this here if I lose you here again just stare it with you or bring it back up Try battery number three. Here's a nice strike. This looks like number 16, Alex Byler, up at bat. Yeah, I'm going to lose you here after this pitch. There's a strike. Ball gets through. One run home. We're going to send another one. Oh, and what? Well. So two runs score. Two to nothing. Haverling on top. Well. So two runs score. Two to nothing. Haverling on top. Runners at second and third. Two runs home here, bottom of the first. Haverling up on top, two to nothing. And walked him, so base is loaded now. With one out. Sometimes it's... Well, you don't want bases loaded. This early, but at least there's outs at every base. As they come out and talk to... Charlie, it's assistant coach Mike Bassage. Yeah, to give him, give him some confidence, you can't worry about it.
Yeah, there's people in a <laughs> staying. I don't know if they're staying warm in there. What are they doing? Uh, oh, it's kids. I want to thank LaMax AutoMax. Maximize your dollars every day with a trip to LaMax AutoMax and LaMax Pro Wrench Tire and Auto, 193 Seneca Street. Check out their huge inventory of used trucks, autos, and vans. LaMax AutoMax. Complete car care, including collision. Say that five times. And get the force out, but a run will come home. I think a ran came home. A run came home. I try to do the best I can, like I said. I'm not 100% positive on anything because I don't have the scoreboard on here. And I am the only one here. I don't have any kind of statistician or anything. There might not have been a runner on third that last. I'm going to make it 2 nothing here. This one's ripped. Oh, you gotta hit your cutoff, man. Throw over to first. It's a strike. Eric Carney Hendricks is the one that ripped that ball to left field. Good job, Eric. 10th grader. He's on first. Dribbler. And the third out is Evingham makes the tag. Take a look at the replay. You know, that's the, you can see the big problem with these fields if they're not professionally rolled. You can see, I mean, both teams are suffering from it. Um, but, you know, if you're not rolling these fields, you can see the ball just bouncing all over the place when it's coming and when it's hit. Alfred State College, number one in so many ways. You get free tuition plus scholarships, financial aid plan. Number one SUNY Regional College has U.S. News rankings and top value great, or topped great value for SUNY universities. Thanks. The Dagan Funeral Home, 38 Church Street in Hornell. Cremation service is $16.95 plus the crematory fee. Thanks, Jim Dagan, Laura Pico. The Dagan Funeral Home, the Dagan Funeral home, only sixteen ninety five for the crematory fee. First Heritage Federal Credit Union stop at one of their several locations throughout the southern tier of New York. First Heritage, corner of Mays and Seneca Street in Hornell. And Strobel Supply, 40 Shum Industrial Park in Hornell. Strobel Supply. They're looking for qualified candidates to join their team at Strobel's. 
Thanks. Strobel's, Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorney's offices in Buffalo, Rochester, New York City. Call 585-262-COMP for Connors and Ferris. Proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and everything Section 5. The Ryan Agencies in Hornell, Jasper and Wells, with three gate locations to serve you better. Jeff Ryan Insurance Protection you can rely on from the Ryan Agencies. Go to the top of the second inning. Three to nothing in favor of Haverling. The Haverling Rams. Give you a few more ads while we can. Simmons and Rockwell Ford, Simmons and Rockwell Nissan, right across the street from each other. Totnop sales service, make car buying simple when you drive your deal. One of these two great, loca great locations, Simmons and Rockwell. How about Twin Hickory Golf Club? The golf season is almost here. I know some people have actually gone out and hit the golf balls around. I'll get up to Twin Hickory Golf Club. Don't forget, you can get certificates online, check out the course, check out membership rates, and so much more. Thanks, Twin Hickory Golf Club and Butler Excavating and Concrete. City View Towing, Transport, and Auto Repair. I just had a call having my nephew's car repaired there up at City View. And kind of running over the prices and everything with me. So thanks, City View. Daryl Hall, Mike Hess, Daryl, er, and Brian Butler. So, first pitch swinging. Charlie Oyer trying to help himself out. He's the pitcher for Hornell. So, Hornell has a runner on. First hit for the Red Raiders. This one's low and in the dirt. At that, for Hornell, it says 17, or it looks like there's a 25 at bat. 25 is Dylan Cullen. No, it says 15. We do not. I do not have a 15 on. Yes, I do. I'm sorry, Braden Vaughn. Sorry, Braden. And this one skips. Charlie's going to be going to second. So Hornell runner in scoring position at second with Charlie Oyer. One, two, three. I need to start the game for Haverling. There's a strike. Nice pitch. Again, if you're just joining us on the mound, Gage Thomas, the 10th grader for Haverling. I like these uniforms, the black and the blue. Braden Vaughn at bat. Charlie Oyer, nobody out. Charlie Oyer on the second as the lone runner for the Raiders. And now, you got Oyer and Vaughn on. There's a strike. <laughs> Two on, nobody out. And that one fouled off. Oh, jammed. And that's 
the first out. Wyatt Evingham up. A high and inside. <laughs> Two and all. To Evingham. Two on, one out. And they have a nice scoreboard here. Why they're, why they're not using it, I don't know. Evingham asked for time. Ah, uh, jammed him. Having him swings at the middle inside fastball. Wait a minute, is that a New York Jets? In the background there, one of the kids is wearing a blanket. Uh oh, two and two now. Nice off speed pitch. Charlie Hoyer at second. Getting my runners, we had two on. With nobody out. Oh, and now two outs. As Wyatt Evingham goes down, nice pitch. Pitching to get two outs by Thomas. Gage Thomas. This is number 22 for Hornell, Danielle Barnett Jr. Inside. Two on, two outs. Top of the second. Swings through the fastball. <clears throat> Lifts that one foul. Makes a nice attempt. Tomorrow we're having our children's Easter egg hunt at the Shaw Park, the Michael C. Fucci Memorial Park at Shawma. And wow, comes back, strikes out Barnett. Two on, nobody out gets out of that one. <laughs> then he goes around like Zeus. Uh, so that takes us to the bottom of the second. Today's game is brought to you by John and Dagan, attorney at law. 607-324-6690. Thanks, John. He's probably served in the Southern Tier since 1989. Call 607-324-6690 for John and Dagan. <coughs> How about... John Birch at Maple City Collision, the best auto body repair shop around, is at Maple City Collision up there on the campus of Park Maple City Dodge Chrysler Jeep. Thanks, John Birch, for all your support. 
And how about Wilkins Auto Sales? Wilkins Auto Sales looking for trailers and different sorts of vehicles. Wilkins Auto Sales, they're the number one seller of trailers in the area. Give them a call. Stop up on Route 21 just outside the city limits as you head toward Alfred. Wilkins Trailer and Auto Sales. I want to thank all our friends at St. James Hospital, the orthopedics especially, especially with the sports and everything going on. Luckily, I actually went up there because I had some, I broke my wrist back in December, and Dr. Andrew Wilhelm, you see in the far left, did a great job diagnosing it and what uh, needed to be done, and I'm back to normal when it comes to the wrist anyways, everything else. He wasn't able to scan my head, so... <laughs> Everyone's bundled right up, and rightfully so. It is cold here. Charlie Orr on the mound, top of or bottom of the second at bat for Haveling. Number three, Thomas McNally. McNally sees ball number one. There's a strike, one and one from Oyer. <clears throat> There's a nice pitch off speed for one and two to McNally. Nobody on, no outs. Bottom of the second. Haveline up three to nothing, I think. <laughs> it might be up two nothing or three nothing. Like I said, the scoreboard's not working here, and I... This one lifted. Wyatt Evingham calling everybody off. And Evingham, like I said, this field, not the best playing conditions, but great job by Wyatt. Watch Wyatt. <laughs> uh. Whoop. Good job, Wyatt. Only the tenth grader. This one lifted. Coming up for it, nice. Another Aaron McInerney all bundled up. Two outs. Easy play for McInerney, the big Mac attack. Two down, nobody on. Top of the order. For Haveline is Gage Thomas, the pitcher. Is up. There's a strike. Side from Oyer. <clears throat> that one's fouled off. Another fouled, pushed.
two outs. And Davis underneath it. So one, two, three inning for Charlie Oyer will help his cause. Just took him a little bit to settle down. Good job, Charlie. Today's game is brought to you by Accepting new patients now, over 30 years experience, Dr. John Wine, Dr. Rick, Rick Joukowsky at Wine Cow Practice Associates, 7246, specializing in back and neck pain, headaches, all your spine care needs. Thanks, Dr. Wine and Dr. Wichkowski. And by your friends at Jillio's Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, for 24-hour day emergency service, fully bonded and insured, it's Jillio's. Give them a call, Jillio's Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling. And by... Everything's so cold here, it's not working as good as <laughs> Dr. Pat Pico, MD, 15 Lotus Street, 585-596-4129, providing quality care to the residents of Stuban, Allegheny County for over 25 years. Dr. Pat Pico, Dr. Pico. The best Italian cuisine around is at the Italian Villa, 196 Seneca Street in Hornell, the Italian Villa. Thanks to Argent Terry for over 60 years of bringing you that best that great Italian cuisine, the Italian Villa, had one of my favorite toasted subs. You know, I was going to bring it up again. <laughs> I actually took my nephew there. He had the uh, chicken wing calzone and absolutely loved it. He said he, he only ate about a quarter of it because obviously the portions at the Italian Villa are so large. And he had also the homemade soup they made too as well. It was absolutely delicious. So thanks everybody and Argentieri family at the Italian Villa. Ed's Computers, Sales and Service, 180 Main Street in Hornell, 607-324-6424. Need a new computer, one repaired. How about laptops, uh, network systems, printers, hard drives? They can do it all and have it all at Ed's Computers. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sniffing. I don't have anything. Uh, you stand out here in this weather for hours. This would be McInerney at the plate for Hornell to lead things off. Oops, I do have to top of the third. Nice hefty cut. McInerney swings through that one. That's just a tad low. Look at the guy leaning up against the... Looks like one of those characters out of a movie with the ha black hat on and the scarf around his... Not a movie, a video game or something. And Mac a little late on that one. One and two. He's got the red and black jacket on. McInerney has for time. Cornell returns to action on Tuesday. That ball is a little low. Cornell will travel to Canisteo Greenwood on Tuesday night. A game you should be able to watch. Right? I know there's internet issues down there, but we should be able to bring you that game Tuesday night. That's our next broadcast. Haverling goes on the road on Tuesday to of Oka Pratsburg. I think they could walk there. Well, just as, probably just as far as... No, I guess they couldn't walk there. Just as far as Hornell as the can of steel. Good jog there. I'm not sure if they're playing in Avoca. Pratsburg is a little bit more of a drive. Oh, and he loses them. Up one and two count. McInerney finds his way on. Good patient hitting by Aaron. Top of the order for Hornell as General Pico comes to bat. Hornell's first game of the year. Pico lifts one. It's going to drop in. Everyone's going to be safe. Wow, what a beautiful. I'm not sure. Wow. 
what, uh, you know, how, it looked like, I don't know what Wenban was thinking, not charging the ball, or what he, unless the ball from the, the wind killed it. I'm not sure. That was interesting. So two on, nobody out. A walk to McInerney and a hit by Pico. That one's low. That's inside. Ooh, you can really, the wind is really, look, it's pushing my camera even. The wind is so, wind is so windy. <laughs> That one's high, and base is loaded. So Hornell with two patient at-bats and a hit by Pico have loaded the bases, and they're going to take a little trip to the mound here. I want to thank Valley Apparel and Designs, the custom apparel and signs. <coughs> Excuse me, 281-8777, Team School Sports, Work Apparel Fundraisers, and so much more. Valley Apparel and Designs, thanks, Jill May from Valley Apparel. And, of course, Erica Golan, it's your licensed real estate salesperson for Real Incorporated. Thanks. Erica, looking to buy or sell a property? Look no further than Erica Golnitz. 607-382-1959. Erica Golnitz. Davin Oyer. High and inside. Oyer brushed back a little bit. He did the old matrix move to get out of the way. That one gets away and doesn't get away, actually. That ball was stopped. Oyer. 2-0. and oh. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Oyer lifts it. And nice job getting underneath that one. Let's take a look at the replay here. That's a good job that time by Eric Carney Hendricks. Two handed in it as well. Good job, Eric. So one down, Charlie Oyer, the pitcher at the plate for the Hornell Red Raiders. Hornell bases loaded, nobody else, but Oyer pops up there, or Davin Oyer that was. This is Charlie Oyer, his cousin. That's high. We're gonna light, at a minimum, I would like to get one run out of this bases loaded, nobody else situation they had.
And that's inside, 3-0. and oh. So, good chance for Hornell. And Orr to help his cause. There's a strike. Oh, get some. Let's check that pitch out again. Looked a little low, but just tag the knees. Let's see. Hmm. Ring him up. Nice pitch, though. You really almost have to take it. Or not take it, have to swing. Wow, and Bath. Haverling gets out of it. Hornell had bases loaded, nobody out. And unable to score, so great job by the Haverling Rams. Just a reminder, like I said, we'll be live from Canisteo Greenwood on Tuesday night. Given, hopefully, that we can get on the internet. They're using the, not the internet so much as the, the cell tower that'll give us enough feed. That's what we're using here is a cell tower. Some reason I think I've forgotten an ad here along the way. Let's see. To bring up the bottom of the third. This brings up number four, Evan Pendle, the senior. Oyer still on, Charlie Oyer still on the mound for Hornell. Dribbler foul. Nice pitch by Oyer. There's a base hit.
or the Bioware. Try to stop these base down. It's got them in trouble in the first inning. Haverling put up three runs as they were able to easily steal bases. So if you can keep somebody close. Nope, another stolen base. Oh no, it gets through. They're gonna send him home. Oh, and he can't handle it. We're now having all kinds of troubles. Gotta catch the ball first. It's the number one thing before you worry about tagging. <laughs> Slow dribbler to Pico and can't get. number 16 Alex Byler with the infield hit That was actually a nice throw to home plate to, that just couldn't be handled. Happy Friday night and welcome to the weekend. <laughs> There's actually some people sitting in their trucks behind me watching. I don't blame them. Ooh. Sorry, I keep sniffing. Stolen base for Haverling. A nice pitch by Oyer, a strikeout. I'm, I'm placed right, I'm set up right next to a, one of those big light poles and I thought I was on the good side of it, but I think the wind has shifted. <laughs> so now I'm getting the wind again.
strike by Oyer. There's a base hit. Scores another run. The wind is horrible. I'm sure they'll be off running again here. Runners on the corners for Haverling. There's strike three. Two down. Runner at second. Now he called that one a strike for Haviland. That was plus that one's a, a curve. It's a close one. Close one. There we go. Nice. That's third out. Be back.
Blue welcomes you to Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Learn professional services like business, medical, or food service. Your skills will serve you well in the future. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a worker's comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. you give for a child you loved to make their wish come true to help them fight a critical illness just imagine what you'd do you see wishes are so powerful and you can make them real they can give a child back their childhood even change the way they feel so top of the fourth Six to nothing. I guess I did have the score wrong that whole time, so I apologize. Six to nothing. Haverling. I got him. Nice pitch. Got the inside. Nice pitch by Gage Thomas. Yeah, what was going on there? <laughs> the ball boy. Or the, I don't know, bat boy or ball boy. went. That was a nice pitch, too. I think that would have been a strike. Let's see if we can see that on the replay. See the, see the kid? Yeah, I know. It was, was going to be low. Nice pitch. Wyatt having him up. high. Let me look at the, what the weather is supposed to be. <laughs> it says it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to be 53 tomorrow. Wow, next week is not great. We had a nice February, but so far March and beginning of April here, not the best. It's supposed to rain and snow starting Monday and not stop for four days. Yes. Easter egg hunt tomorrow. It wasn't supposed to rain, but it looks like it may a little bit. But we'll be handing out baskets full of eggs if it does rain. So you can come down and see visit with the Easter Bunny. 
brought to you by the Hornell Kiwanis Club. That's the club that I'm president of. We stuffed 3,000 eggs. 3,000. And I want to thank, we had 13 kids from the Hornell High School that needed um, hours, community service hours, and the as well as the Honor Society. Oh, there's a strike. Came down and helped stuff eggs. Even the Salute Victorian was there. Mm. I'm not sure why he keeps dipping down. You gotta just foul the ball, level swing. I wouldn't be surprised if he throws the same pitch again here. That one's low. Fouled back. Batting for Hornell's number 22, Daniel Barnett Jr. Got him. Wyatt down to second. McInerney up. We're an hour. Eight minutes into this game. It's been a cold hour and eight minutes. But the weather not looking good from here on out. Pop this one foul. Surprisingly, my feet aren't cold, though. And I do have electronic hand warmers that's keeping my hands in decent shape the big thing is what will happen is if they get more of these games because Hornell's already had two baseball games postponed ooh high inside they'll be playing five games a week or more coming up and we'll be bringing you mo all of them most likely Get Wyatt dancing, trying to throw him off. There's a strike. Two outs runner is or is Evingham at second. Oh. Oh, and Wyatt's going to start a little late, but let's see if he gets in there, and he does. Hornell, watch Wyatt like dust off his, look at, 
Well, and then he decided to go. Oh, he didn't dust himself off, but he did get up slowly and was able with his speed to get down there. Nice job, Wyatt. McInerney has to get a ball and play here. Or walk. Or reach first in some way or another. That one's low. And he does walk. So that keeps having him possible score at sec at third. But General Pico up. The leadoff hitter. Pico lifts it, and the third out. So that's going to take us to the bottom of the fourth. We'll be back. Every single one of us can make the stars align, because when we come together, hope and joy will shine. Traditional checking accounts are old news. So what are you waiting for? Reach new heights with Apex Rewards checking from First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Apex gives you the option to choose between cash back or high interest with a free checking account that pays you. Plus, ATM fees get refunded. Choose your rewards at fhfcu.org and get one step closer to achieving your financial goals. Shop, finance, and buy your next car all online. With a new shopping experience at your fingertips, make car buying simple when you drive your deal at Simmons Rockwell Nissan in Horseheads and Hornell. Hi, I'm Laura Dagan Pico, and along with my father, Jim Dagan, operate the Dagan Funeral Home here in Hornell. The Dagan Funeral Home is a large, spacious, handicap accessible facility with a seating capacity of 150 people along with a separate family room for entertaining children. We also offer DVD memorial tributes which continually show photographs and movies of your loved one's life on two beautiful flat screen TVs. The Dagan Funeral Home, five generations of the Dagan family serving your family. Hi, I'm Bob Uecker. I was five years old when Lou Gehrig gave his famous luckiest man speech. Lou retired from baseball that day because of the devastating disease known as ALS. Back then, I never imagined I would one day grow up to be a Major League Baseball player or spend my life in baseball. And I certainly didn't imagine that ALS would take my daughter Leanne's life and another close friend. ALS robs a person of their ability to walk, talk, eat, and breathe. It's been eight decades since Lou's speech and we still don't have a cure. But we are making progress turning ALS from a fatal disease into a livable one. And we need your help to finally strike out ALS. Please join us in the fight by visiting ALS.org. Thank you. Three quarters frozen. Some people commenting whether I sound like I'm fr frozen. <laughs> oh, it, 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 actually, I don't think it would be too bad if it was just 36 degrees and no wind, but you can hear that wind makes it probably like 25 degrees.
Six nothing Haverling, bottom of the fourth. Six nothing Haverling. Ooh, a little dribbler. Oh, mishandle. And it's going to get free. That's what happens. Like I said, this grass and the... I mean, both teams are playing under the same conditions, but when you have... When the ball thobble, or, uh, is slowly hit to you and it's jumping all over the place, it's hard to handle. Corner's got a new catcher, hooker. It's got to be tough coming in cold off the bench and coming in to play a position like that. Ashton Hooker, the 11th grader, catching. Charlie Oyer still pitching on the mound for Hornell. This is going to bring home a run. Whoa. And it didn't. What a catch. It's hard to see when I'm filming from this position. Watch this again. Nice job by McInerney coming up to grab it. So it didn't bounce. I'm looking at a monitor. So that kept the runner at third. Thomas McNally at third. Bobble again. Tough times there at third. Not much he can do, like I said. You can see the ball bouncing around, but nice bunt by Haverly. I wonder they have an urgent care here and but if somebody gets injured here or I collapse <laughs> if my insurance will they'll take my insurance here at the VA. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know why I was just thinking about that, but I didn't know they had an urgent care but it said it right on the sign here. Now they'll have to ship me across 
to the other side of the valley to Ira Davenport. Oh, and Davis can't handle it. Nice attempt, though, Andrew. Oh, nice pitch. Nice pitch by Oyer. Nice pitch again. Runner is on second and first and second. Now on first and third. Seven nothing Haverling. Runners at second and third, bottom of the fourth. And it's 
Strike three for the third out. We'll be back. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan agency. We're opening doors to your future at Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Combine tech skills and knowledge to analyze problems and succeed together. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. with my daughter Laura, own and operate the Dagan Funeral Home here in Hornell. The Dagan Funeral Home was established way back in 1883 by my great-great-grandfather and is the oldest family-owned funeral home in the area. We offer traditional funerals for all faiths as well as low-cost cremation services and we will be happy to assist you with pre-planning and inflation-proof financing. The Dagan Funeral Home, five generations of the Dagan family serving your family. Having low income can mean making tough choices. Choosing between paying for food or medication or a place to live is a reality for many people. Do you know someone who could use some extra help? Find out about the Supplemental Security Income Program, SSI. You could receive monthly SSI payments if your income and financial resources are low and you are 65 or older, or an adult or child with a disability or who is blind. SSI is money you can use to help pay for basic needs, like putting food on the table, keeping the lights on, paying the rent. It can mean new shoes for growing feet or help with medical needs. Call 1-800-772-1213 or visit ssa.gov SSI to schedule an appointment or start to apply today. That's ssa.gov SSI produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Hi, I'm Peyton Manning, and I'm partnering with the American Red Cross this year to tackle blood shortages. Giving blood's important because every two seconds, someone actually needs blood, and unfortunately, only like 3% of the U.S. population donates. So. We have to step up to give and to make sure there's plenty of blood available for those in need. Visit redcrossblood.org to get in the game and make an appointment to give. Andrew Davis at bat. Top of the fifth. One of my hand warmers died on me. <laughs> Three oh. Three and one. And walked him. Five pitch walk to Davis. Nice patient hitting by Andy Davis. Devin Oyer.
And a nice throw to get Oyer. Pushes Davis to second. Charlie Oyer up. Low and inside. So two on now. Time for a trip to the mound. Today's game is brought to you by LaMax AutoMax. Maximize your dollars every day with a trip to LaMax AutoMax. LaMax Pro Wrench Tire and Auto Complete Car Care, including Collision. Give them a call. Stop in at 193 Seneca Street, LaMax AutoMax. Alfred State College It's called Free Tuition Plus. Also, scholarships, financial aids. Call and take a tour of Alfred State College today, the number one SUNY regional college, U.S. News. The Dagan Funeral Home, 38 Church Street in Hornell. Cremation services, 1695 plus crematory fee. Thanks, Jim Dagan, Lower Pico at the Dagan Funeral Home. The Dagan Funeral Home. First Heritage Federal Credit Union. Open an Apex checking account, a checking account that pays you. That's right, you're in cash back rewards for an ATM fees are funded. Do you, Apex? I do. First Heritage. And Strobel Supply, now hiring. 40 Shawmont Industrial Park. Strobel's Supply. Robotics, distribution, liquid paint applications, and so much more. Strobel's, Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys, offices in Buffalo, Rochester, New York City. Call 585-262-COMP for Connors and Ferris. And the Ryan Agencies, Jeff Ryan Insurance Protection. You can rely on from your friends at the Ryan Agencies in Hornell, Jasper, and Wellsville. Simmons and Rockwell Ford, Simmons and Rockwell Nissan, right across the street from each other. Top-notch sales service, make car buying simple when you drive your deal at Simmons and Rockwell. Simmons and Rockwell. And by Twin Hickory Golf Club. Log on to TwinHickoryGolfClub.com, check out membership rates and so much more. Twin Hickory Golf Club season is almost upon us. Twin Hickory. And Butler Excavating Concrete, City View Towing, Transport, and Auto Repair. Call 324-7400. Thanks, Brian Butler, Mike Castillo, Howell, and the crew at Butler Excavating. And City View, new pitcher on the mound is Owen Smith for Haverling. Oh, there's wind. It's not making it any better here. Davis is going to head down to third. Oh, we're to second. Sorry, I'm sniffing here. Oh, that 
pitch above the letters. Let's take a look at that. We're now getting scolded. Yeah, could have, should have swung at it. So base is loaded. Nobody out. PJ Pico. At bat. One little chance to do some damage here. A nice pitch. This isn't PJ. Who is this at bat? I might have a mistake. Is it? Can't see with a number. Is it 13, Ashton? Ashton Hooker. So, walk in a run here. With Wyatt Eppingham up. I think it's just going to be taken here all the way. Oh, well, as I say it, Wyatt takes a hefty cut at that pitch. There's a strike. <clears throat> Second run, come home.
Seamus Cork at the plate. And that's the end of Hornell's attempt. <clears throat> Go to the bottom of the fifth. Today's game brought to you by John and Dagan, general trial practice, probably serving the Southern Tier since 1989. Call 324 6690 for John and Dagan. Proud supporters of everything here at Hornell High School and more. Valley, or I'm sorry, Maple City Collision, the best auto body repair shop around is Maple City Collision. Tell them John Birch sent you Maple City Collision. Wilkins. Auto Sales Incorporated right there on Route 21 as you're leaving Hornell toward Alfred. Check out their trailers. They have all types of trailers for everything you need at Wilkins Auto Sales. Wilkins Auto Sales. And St. James Hospital's Orthopedics where champions are cheered on. Let's see Dr. Andrew Wilhelm, Thermothry, and more. Thanks, Dr. at St. James Hospital's Orthopedics. And... Wind Kyle Practic Associates, 20 Park Drive in Hornell, 324 7246. Specializing in back and neck pain, headaches, all your spine care needs. Thanks, guys. At Wind Kyle Practic. Rustic Lux. Don't throw that piece of furniture away. Bring it into Rustic Lux for reloved, refurbished furniture. It's Rustic Lux. Rustic Lux, that is. Dr. Pat Pico, MD, 15 Lotus Street, 585 596. 4129, providing quality care to the residents of Stuba and Illegal County for over 25 years. It's Dr. Pat Pico. Andrew Davis coming in to pitch for the Raiders. I think the Italian Villa, 196 Seneca Street in Hornell. The best Italian casino around is at the Italian Villa. Argentary families. Over 60 years of bringing that great Italian cuisine. Don't forget, Tuesday we'll be live from Cana Steel's Hornell Baseball. Takes on the Cana Steel Greenwood Chargers. Rain, if it, the rain holds off, that is. Erica Golnitz, your licensed real estate salesperson for Real Incorporated, 607-382-1959. Erica Golnitz. Committed to you, committed to the community. Thanks, Erica, for all your support. And by Valley Apparel and Designs, they do custom apparel and signs, 281-8777, team school sports work apparel, and so much more. Log on to Valley Apparel and Designs. Can't move my, can't move my cheeks to talk. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <coughs> Once you know it's the coldest in almost April, and it's been all winter practically. And Andrew Davis on the mound here for the Raiders. His first outing of the year. I tell you, he, nice pitching motion as wind up and delivery. He's the senior. Had a very successful alpine skiing for the winner for Hornell. Seven to two in the bottom of the fifth here. A 
Such a strike. Okay, that kid's only got a sweatshirt on down there. How do you guys stay warm? Oh. Walked him. Another ball gets loose. This is definitely not baseball weather, and <clears throat> you can see after a hot start, even for Haverling, they've kind of cooled off a little bit, and Hornell's still looking to find its way here. Down seven to two, it was seven to nothing. Hornell will be able to score two runs in the top of the fifth, but they'll find themselves with runners on the corners, nobody out. Easy, another stolen base. Ooh, they said safe underneath it. Let's check it out. Hmm. Interesting. It's hard to tell exactly, but... Apparently the run scores and nobody else still.
Runners at first and second. Or first and third. It's going to be one of those if Hornell can't come back here. Well, it's early. I mean, they've still got, I don't say early, but you still have, Hornell's got two more at bats unless they get 10 run to here. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe how to score it, score the last play. That was just, you know, it's kind of funny that this is the way the season has started so far for Hornell, anyways, because of just talking to someone. I can't remember who it was today or yesterday. It might have been yesterday. That every team makes sectionals anyways. And they said, you might as well skip the regular season. You can lose every single game and still play well in sectionals. I'm not saying Hornell's obviously bad because this is the first game, but it was kind of interesting. But obviously you want to, you don't want to get down on yourselves. And oh, I lost power in my other... Hand warmer. That's going to bring a run home. One car and behind me, there's cars leaving. One car's going about five miles an hour, and he's got a line of people behind him. Nice pitch. Oh, nice pitch inside and inside. A little fastball from Davis.
don't know how many outs because there's no scoreboard here. Game time approaching two hours. Certainly putting Davis to work here. Dylan Winbon. It's a walk, but another run's going to score. I'm a betting man. They're going to steal. Glenn Bond's going to steal second. Fouled off in an attempted stolen base. <laughs> Winbin was going. Another stolen base. This is going to be hit and a run. Stolen base. Another stolen base. He can lead right off. Nobody's covering. <clears throat> oh, 
Ooh. Fastball got away. My score, I have 11 to 2. So if this score run scores, it should be over 10 to run, but we'll see. Nice pitch. Hey, you see him. You're going to hear Davis say tag him. Oh, we don't want any issues. I don't think it matters at this point, but if anyone remembers Ornell's last game before this one, they were winning the sectional championship game and ended up losing because of the video that was seen by 75 million people. The clip. Coach Joe Flint out there talking. Like Erica Golnitz, your licensed real estate salesperson for Real Incorporated, 607 382 1959. Thanks, Erica. And of course, Valley Apparel and Designs, custom apparel signage, fundraisers, t shirts, hats, banners, anything you need, they can do. Valley Apparel. So we got another inning. <laughs> We are really excited to have a sports medicine program here at UR Medicine St. James, giving our community access to high level of care and a strong team, both in the physical therapy department and orthopedic world. So as a previous athlete myself, I know what it feels like to be injured and be on the sidelines and have the goals of wanting to get back to the court quickly. My job and my team's job is to get our athletes and patients back to their court and field quickly back to their previous level of function. Patients are not only looking for quality of care, but also accessibility. It's very exciting for us to have this sports medicine team here, keep it close to the community so people aren't traveling as much as they previously had to. With our new orthopedic sports medicine team at UR St. James, we give them easy access for their care. Blue 
welcomes you to Alfred State, the number one SUNY regional college. Learn professional services like business, medical, or food service. Your skills will serve you well in the future. Launch your career with ASC Career Paths at alfredstate.edu. After you've been injured at work, you might feel like you're up against your employer. But the truth is, your employer isn't the opponent, the insurance company is. You need a workers' comp attorney with the knowledge and experience to maximize your benefits. Call Connors and Ferris today as we have dedicated over 20 years of our professional careers to helping injured workers. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorney.
time. Uh, <laughs> you see the catcher <clears throat> thought it was going to be a strike and kind of walked away. That's a little too low that time. There it is, so. <laughs> Takes us to the bottom of the six. Thanks to the Argentary family of the Italian villa in Horno. PJ Pico is going to be pitching for Hornell. Okay, so top or bottom of the fifth or bottom of the sixth. <clears throat> this one lifted. They stop. Nice out. Didn't have to move much, but nice job by Hayden, nonetheless.
emu. Took a wild bounce. Umpire coming out to talk to PJ. It's too cold for that. Let's go. <laughs> it's a balk. That's what he's explaining. <laughs> I'm just picking on him, but at least he goes out and explains to him what he did wrong, which is good. Now he's going to come talk to the coach. let you guys know how far I'm out here. I'm way out here. <laughs> uh. Okay, the camera has a nice zoom. At bat, it's number 14, Waylon Hode, senior, Waylon is. Whalen strikes out.
So it's going to take us to the seventh. Last at bats for Horno. <laughs> I can't believe how many chances Haveling has had to close this down the last couple innings. Ten run them, but they didn't. Good pitching by Hornell. I think I'm going to set a rule where I don't film under 30 degrees. Uh. <laughs> I think it's the seventh. Oh, goodness. There's quite a facility here, the VA Center, There's buildings everywhere, big huge ones, it's huge, oops, can't see that building. Devin Oyer up. And Oyer pops out. That's not Oyer, is it? Who is 23? I thought that was Oyer. Who was that? 23. Brand Braden Fowser. Sorry, Braden. PJ Pico up. Left hander. I don't even feel like moving. I don't even feel like picking my equipment up. <laughs> Are my extremities? What extremities? A Seinfeld reference. Two down. One out away. This is number nine, Lucas Hancock. Lucas, 11th grader.
Ooh, that wasn't a strike. <laughs> I'm not sure if he appreciates the umpire appreciates uh, the catcher kind of showing him up. Like that's a strike. That's a strike. And getting up and moving happens all the time, though. But. Oh my goodness. I just can't believe how cold it is. And there's strike three, and that's going to do it. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Hopefully, we'll see you next Tuesday as Hornell takes on Canisteel in Canisteel. Uh, Haverling takes on Avoca Prattsburg next Tuesday for their next game. And Avoca Prattsburg, I'm not sure which, which facility they're playing in, but uh, Hornell starts the season out 0-1. Haverling 1-1. One I one. want to thank everybody again for joining us. And we'll see you next week. Everybody have a nice Easter, too, as well. So. Uh, my name is Richard Powell. I'm an athlete at Alfred State College. The reason why I came to see Dr. Wilhelm is because of my shoulder injuries. Um, I had suffered an injury on my 21st birthday on the field against Gallaudet. He did a great job with my surgery. I played the entire season with it perfectly fine. I was able to tackle people without like restrictions. The best and quickest recovery I ever had from any injury that I had working with him. He gets the job done and he knows what he's doing. So I highly recommend you guys come to see Dr. Wilhelm. Concerned about the cost of your insurance? The Ryan agencies sift through quotes from many companies to uncover your best insurance value. You'd be surprised at the savings we can find. Let's just talk. What's there to lose? The Ryan Agencies, your local insurance inflation fighters. Insurance protection you can rely on. The Ryan Agency. you give for a child you loved to make their wish come true to help them fight a critical illness just imagine what you'd do you see wishes are so powerful and you can make them real they can give a child back their childhood even change the way they feel every single one of us can make the stars align because when we come together hope and joy will shine Traditional checking accounts are old news. So what are you waiting for? Reach new heights with a